But at the end of the day, I'm talking to yet another DJ who's looking for ways to, to change his business, to change his stars, right? He wants new ideas to be able to be better at what he does and to have better clients and charge more and he's stuck, right? Hi, it's Bill. Thanks for joining me again on Creative License, brought to you by ElectroVoice. Uh, check out their new Everse speakers. Very cool. Uh, there's promo only. There's DJ Event Planner. There's Disc Jockey News, DJ NTV, and of course my workshop, the Entertainment Experience. So, what is the number one thing you can do? You know, they all want an idea, right? They all want a silver bullet. How am I going to get better? How am I going to do? something to really change the way in which life comes at me and my business and be a better DJ and be a better performer, or whatever that is. And the number one thing I think you can do is to go and do something that you don't think you can do, or better yet, do something that scares you, which is, I think, a perfect thing to think about on this beautiful Halloween uh, week. Today's Halloween. And what better day to sit down and figure out something you're going to do over the next month or six months or year when it comes to you, your performance, your life that is scary enough that you're going to have to really stretch yourself. Every time I've ever had any kind of a evolution in my performance, in my business, in my personal life, I've put myself out there in a way that is actually kind of terrifying. The first time that I asked, you know, the first time I knew I was, I was, I was in love and I was going to ask my wife to marry me terrified that she might say no or when I needed to make changes to my business because I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to take care of my family take care of my wife and 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 anybody that we create together I'm gonna to have to make some changes I'm gonna to have to first raise my prices I went from five hundred dollars to about five times that overnight it was terrifying. Nothing was scarier for me at the time because the last thing I wanted to do is to not DJ anymore. The last thing I wanted to do was to have somebody say no, and now I'm not working. <laughs> I mean, think about it. How terrifying is that? I know it's terrifying for you too because that's what people talk to me about. Like, what am I going to do? How am I not going to be so scared that somebody might say no to me? Well, I'm sure that in your life, every time that you've made a really big jump, it's because you did something that frightened you. You found the thing that scared you the most, and you ran at the fear. And you might have failed uh, at first. You, may have, you might have failed um, at second, third, fifth, tenth. But if you kept at it, and you kept trying, and you kept running at the fear, you found a way to figure it out. Whether it be the first time you stood in front of an audience with a microphone and said your name, or when you bought the first speaker you ever bought without anybody's help, because that was a lot of expense, or whether it was the first girl that you thought you loved and you talked to her for the first time, whatever that thing was. If it was something you cared enough about, you tried, and then you tried, and then you tried again. And you became better because you ran towards the fear and you had the passion and care and love for what you were doing and for what you wanted. 
to figure it out by doing it over and over and over. So, what did I think you should do? Write down all of the things about yourself and your life and your business that you're most afraid of, okay? Write down the things that, gosh, if I wasn't so scared, I would do. And you do it by yourself because usually you don't know that you can trust telling somebody that you're afraid. Nobody wants to say, I'm afraid of this, I'm afraid of that. We always want to look like we've got it together, but the truth of the matter is we don't. We don't have it together. We are all terrified of everything all the time. The more terrified you are of it, the more you should run at it. Because if you're afraid to do anything about it, then you still don't get anywhere and you're still afraid of it. And there's nothing that you can't get past. There's nothing that you can't get better at. There's no fear that you can't conquer by running at it. And I promise you, each time you get better, you're gonna find something bigger to run at. So, have a happy Halloween, find something that scares you, and I'll see you next time on Creative License. Boom.